Hi, let's speak about Astrophytum capricorni and a few of its confusing subspecies. Let's start with subspecies Niveum. This is a typical plant. What's typical, typical about this Niveum form? Typical are the quite thick spines. Normal uh, capricorni uh, forms have very thin twisted spines the Niveum has fewer spines and thicker spines. Also typical, most plants have yellow flowers but with an orange red heart. Most plants also have a quite uh, thick white flockings, but not all plants. They also have the nudum form. This for example is a fine specimen of the Niveum form nudum, so with a normal green body. This, apart from being nudum, this is also a variegated plant. I, I grew it from seed batch many years ago. Look, this plant from same seed batch has even more uh, variegation on the on, on its uh, body. But both plants are typical Niveum. Why is it this Niveum? and not the next uh, form, Crassispinum. These plants still have the red throat and the flowers, while the Crassispinum, these plants have a pure yellow flower. So yellow flower without the red throat, which is uh, typical for most uh, Capricorn forms. I must say these are let's say not a typical normal uh, crustus penum this is a Japanese, uh, Japanese selection called Taiho Taiho is let's say synonymous for uh, crustus penum but usually it refers to plants with more defined more stronger spines thicker and stronger spines but most important to remember these plants crustus penum have yellow flowers okay that's clear. Then what about Crassus pinoides? This plant doesn't look at all like, like Crassus pinum. This has a naked body, this has a flecked body. This has strong spines, this has thinner twisted spines. Actually Crassus pinum is a selection made from uh, old habitat collections of Astrophytum capricorni variety minor. These plants usually have the red throat and the flowers. But in habitat you also find some specimen without a red throat, so with pure yellow flowers. In the past some collectors collected these plants, did some selective breeding on it to create this line. Due to the yellow flowers that used to be typical for the Crassus pinum, they called it Crassus pinoides. Why? Because this, for, this plant created some confusion about, uh, among collectors about, okay, it's a yellow flower, it should be Crassus pinum. No, it just looks like Crassus pinum, Crassus pinoides. Remember, Crassus pinoides is just a, a cultivar derived from uh, the Minus variety. Here we have again the Niveum nudum form, Crassus pinum with a red flower throat, pure yellow flowers. And this is the typical Niveum from Crater Senegas together with its nudum form. Okay, I hope I, I made uh, some uh, things clear for you. I hope you enjoyed it. I see you next time.